This game is Globus Gross, played in 1844. White played the Evans Gambit, which begins E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop C4, Bishop C5, B4, sacrificing a pawn for quick development. Black takes it. Bishop takes B4. C3, gaining a tempo. Bishop A5, D4, sacrificing another pawn for quick development. E takes D4. Castles, D6. C takes D4. So, what has a central pawn majority plus a lead in development for a couple pawns. H6, queen to B3, queen to E7, knight to C3, and now the threats of uh, something like uh, knight to D5 cause, cause white to uh, t snap at knight off. Bishop takes C3, Queen takes c3. Now here, black played bishop to d7. Much better would have been knight to f6. But he chose bishop d7. e5. Now it's hard for, for um, black to develop without, without taking the pawn on e5. So he played pawn takes e5. Bishop to a3. And then he played e takes d4, knight takes d4, queen to f6, rook f to e1 check, knight at g to e7. Much better would have been knight at c to e7. However, he chose knight g to e7, which creates an opportunity for, for what to play a masterpiece. Knight takes c6, sacrificing the queen on c3. Queen takes c3. Rook takes e7 check. King to f8. Rook takes f7 check. King to g8. Knight to e7 check. King to h7. And now white plays the diversion sacrifice. Bishop to b2. If Black plays queen takes b2, then bishop to d3 is checkmate. And if queen takes c4, then rook takes g7 is checkmate. Black tried bishop to e8. White played the second diversion sacrifice. Bishop to d3, check, forcing queen takes d3, rook takes g7, checkmate. This is Randy Lovelace for the Hickory Chess Club. Good night.